Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see what messages the Divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. Now, I always remind you that these readings are generalized and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. Beloved, we are going to be looking at our tarot cards as well as our oracle cards to deliver these messages. If I can invite you to invite your intuition to just grab this card for you if i can invite you to invite your intuition to be present as i'm doing these readings because you'll be able to really grasp the messages that are here for you on a deeper level okay so as i'm getting your cards this is the perfect time to call upon your intuition wow it is interesting that you have received three major arcana cards I'm just going to grab more tarot cards so we can clarify this situation for you, okay? Because you received the major arcana card of the Wheel of Fortune, which really wanted to jump out. And then you received a major arcana card of the Hanged Man, as well as the Tower card, okay? Mm. What is going on at the moment? Okay. So you have some important decisions that you need to make. But we're going to go through these cards, so we're going to dive deep into these messages. So the first card that you have received is communication. So there is a situation currently where communication is really lacking. Communication is leading to a lot of problems because without saying what is on your mind, either the other person is thinking you're upset with them and then they are reacting to what they are thinking, which is not true. Or you are thinking that someone is upset with you, but in reality, they are not upset with you at all. Divine is saying that it is an energy that is here where communication is getting in the way. Whoever you are feeling like they're upset with you or vice versa, it is time to open up and to release whatever is on your mind and to speak your mind because in doing so, you're going to be able to clear the air. The next card is about rituals. The divine is asking you if you have rituals in place because rituals are really important. Right now, I feel that the ritual that the divine is wanting you to do is to cleanse your home because there are some heavy energies that we are going to be speaking about and the divine is saying cleansing your home is going to be really important spring cleaning your home just removing some toxic energies some dense energies that are around your home at the moment because in doing so you're going to be seeing that your energy is going to be lifted up there's a sense of breath air that is coming in once you have cleansed your energy. Maybe using something citrusy to clear the air, to clean your home could just really help, really banish those bad energies that I can really sense that are on the cards. So the divine is bringing in that fire element that is here. The divine is bringing again that fire element and air element with our two cards so whatever is happening i feel that the color yellow and orange are going to play an important role in uplifting your energies as well as cleansing with fire as well as cleansing with incense is going to be important because the divine is saying that we need to talk about this there is an energy around your emotions that we need to speak about because you are receiving the energies of the cancer this is the Cancer Moon, and it is interesting that we are going to be celebrating the Cancer New Moon that is coming up on the 28th and the 29th, depending on where you live, of June. So this is going to be an important new moon that is connected to the energies that are on the table. Remember, we spoke about rituals, and you know that by now that I do new moon and full moon ceremonies. These are rituals to welcome in the new moon or to give gratitude for the full moon. So this new moon on the 28th, the 29th is not going to be any different. This new moon is going to be in the cancer sign. And like I said, it's going to be powerful, especially for you because you have received two cards that are indicating the importance of either doing a ritual for yourself. So I see that for some of you 
on that cancer new moon, you're going to be going in your home. You're going to be cleansing. You're going to be releasing. You're going to be purging. And this is going to be really important. Or you could get in touch with me. My website is in the description box below and you can get in touch with me and we can do the new moon ceremony together. You can go in shorts and you can see the short videos that I have been posting on the styles of ceremonies and rituals that I do with you guys, with the collective on the Cancer Moon. Okay, so if that is something that you feel called to get involved in, get in touch as soon as you can. Don't wait until the last moment because the candle ceremony tends to get booked out. So you don't want to um, miss out on a chance if you're called to work with me. So the divine is wanting to come in and say to you that the winds of changes are starting to blow. You saw that this card really jumped out. It's really emphasizing that there are some important changes that are going to be coming up in your life. Now, let's speak about the Wheel of Fortune a little bit more. Because when we look at the energies of the Wheel of Fortune, this is the energy where it tells you that if you allow these changes to take place right now, they are going to transition. They are going to just come in and go with a lot of ease. I'm not saying that they're not going to be painful. Some of you, it could still be painful, but the pain that is here is actually going to be the type of pain that you're going to be saying, okay, I'm going to miss this person. I'm going to miss this situation. Yes, I feel the pain, but I am really happy that this situation is done once and for all. And I like the Wheel of Fortune being here because it is the card that tells you that Lady Luck is walking with you. So right now, the changes that are coming in, you're going to be seeing that your luck is going to be connected to whatever is going on. Because remember, I said, let's clarify these cards that are here. And the clarification card that came up for the Wheel of Fortune is indicating that there is a situation that is connected to some heartbreak. There is a situation that, that could just be a painful situation. There could just be some disappointing news that is coming in. But you're like, all right, I'm going to feel the pain and I'm going to allow the situation to exit and to free me. So there is an energy where you are saying to yourself, I am freeing myself from the situation once and for all because it feels like this could be a karmic type of situation. A situation has hurt you once, has hurt you twice, and three times you're like, okay, this is where I draw the line and I am not longer allowing anyone to keep on disrespecting me or treating me in a way that is not nice, in a painful way. So whatever is happening that you are going to be experiencing, the divine is saying to you that, listen, right now is not the time to take action. You are in the energy of limbo right now. So the divine is saying, pause have that energy of introspection, looking at this situation, but not taking action yet because the divine is saying that there is some important information that is going to be coming in. And if you take action now, you're going to be missing some important information that you are going to need later on. So the divine is saying that just hold on. Okay, the winds of change, they have just started to blow. This is not the time to take action yet, but this is the time just to feel what has happened in the past and where you want to go in the future. Just allow yourself to be in this moment, no matter how painful, no matter how disappointing this situation is going to be, because the divine is saying that for some of you, you intuitively already know what this ending is all about. But like I said, this is not the time to take action yet. The divine is saying, just sit it out. And then there is our tower moment that is going to be coming in and releasing you from the situation. The divine is saying that this is a heads up that is saying, you know, brace yourself because something is coming in. But don't fall into that energy of feeling afraid of what is coming in, but rather celebrate, rather welcome the changes that are coming in. Why? Because remember, you received our positive card that is telling you that this is a good thing. Despite it being painful, despite whatever, this is a good thing. When you look back in the future, at this moment in time, you're going to be thankful that that tower moment happened because it is here to liberate you 
it is here to free you from the situation i really like the next card that we have because we are seeing you feeling really passionate okay you are leaving this situation feeling passionate you're feeling really brave bravely going forward to open up a new chapter in your life bravely going forward with excitement because when we're looking at the energies of the wands this is fire this is passion this is drive you are feeling fired up to really go forward with that single-minded laser focused on making some big changes in your future because you're finally saying to yourself enough enough is enough i am no longer gonna keep on allowing situations like this keep on robbing me of my peace Keep on stealing from me my time, my fatality. So whatever is happening, this situation is going to actually inspire you to make some important changes. So I really like that the energies of the Tower card is bringing in liberation. Liberation that is going to bring a lot of joy. Even though in the moment in time, you might be feeling like the Three of Wands is not going to be that long before you're actually saying, you know what, actually, thank God. That this situation ended because you're a new person you're feeling fired up you're feeling excited you are reclaiming your energy that you had before you entered this situation so this is why the divine is saying to you that listen rituals cleansing is going to be important welcoming in that fire element that fire element is going to be feeling really energizing making you feel passionate because you have that fire element that is here again. So the divine is saying that you're going to be working with the energies of Mercury, Mercury connected to the first card that opened up this reading because you understand that Virgo is ruled by Mercury. And we saw that communication is really the key to the energies of Mercury. So Mercury is coming in and wanting to free you from this situation. Finally, you're going to be communicating your emotions. And as you're communicating your emotions, this is going to energize you. This is going to energize you to leave this situation, to just draw a line in the sand. And then you're doing your purifying rituals. You're doing the rituals to really just banish, release, cleanse these energies so that you can go forward and make the decisions that are going to make you feel powerful you are going to be empowering yourself because you're receiving a really nice card, which is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is indicating that you are going to be facing some choices, okay? You are not out of choice, but you have many choices. But the Divine is saying, don't be in a rush, okay? Really take your time and look at all the options that are presenting themselves so that you can make the right choice that is right for you. Because some of the options that are here could not be for your greatest good. Some of the options that are here could want to see you being invited back again into this situation. But like I said, you are burning those bridges. You are not going back to this situation. You're taking that fire element and you're using it to go forward with excitement and passion to really build something new. Okay, so again, we have our card that is talking about choices. The Seven of Cups is also talking about choices. The Two of Wands, you're feeling really passionate and fired up about what it is that you want to do next, where you want to go next, what it is that is going to be feeling like life feels good. This is what is going to be driving you forward. This is what's going to be propelling you forward. Finally, you're here alone, but you are not feeling lonely because the situation that you're in right now even though you are not alone, you are feeling lonely. You are feeling abandoned. You're feeling like you don't matter. And as you go forward, you're making some choices that are empowering you. And even though you might be alone, you are actually celebrating. You're actually feeling passionate. You're actually feeling excited. You're actually feeling invigorated and excited about where you are going next. Because finally, you have the power in your hands to make the choices that are right for you. Beloved, this is the reading that I have for you. And again, if you want to join me on the 28th, the 29th of June for the Cancer uh, New Moon, do so. Everything you're going to need to know is going to be in the description box below. This is your reading. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I wish you all the best of luck with this situation that is on the cards. And it is a goodbye from me. Bye.